Okay, um, good morning everyone. Um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Everything is okay? Perfect. Um, my name is Simon de la Corda. I am director of the Institute for Electronic Participation from Slovenia. Uh, I'm going to start the conference with a short opening <laughs> remarks. Uh, dear guests, dear colleagues, uh, dear friends, it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you on behalf of the Co-Designing Euro Project Consortium and the Institute for Electronic Participation at the International Conference Digital Crowdsourcing for Better Air Quality in Europe. Especially, <clears throat> I would like to welcome our dear partners from the European countries. Many of you traveled long distances to join us today in Ljubljana, so thank you so much. Especially, I would like to say welcome to Mr. Dylan Gorenshek, PhD, head of the digital se sector for the digital inclusion at the government office of the digital transformation. Welcome. Today, many people in Europe are asking themselves whether there is a future for political democracy. We are Europeans able to share common values of political participation, rule of law, and transparency. These questions today are pressing one, as we see on a daily basis that there is increasing skepticism and distrust into democratic decision-making institutions. <clears throat> on the other hand, we are living in a digital age of growing connectivity, information abundance, and digital opportunities for community building and citizens' participation. Therefore, the main purpose of today's conference, which is financially supported by the European Economic Area and Norway Grants Funds for Regional Cooperation, is to share experience and discuss different aspects of using crowdsourcing as a method for increasing citizens' participation in policymaking for better air quality in Europe. Digital crowdsourcing represents a unique opportunity for large-scale citizens' participation, as shown by the Code Project experiment. During the first phase of the project, more than 2,300 comments were submitted about major issues with air quality in Europe. And also more than 600 solutions were proposed by the citizens in six European cities across Europe how to tackle these problems. So such solutions are mostly targeting supporting renewable energy infrastructure, car-free and greener cities, stronger public transport network in rural areas, and increased cycling and walking infrastructures. Many of these proposals are going to be further formulated by the citizens and experts into policy-making proposals, which are going to be delivered to the European institutions. Hopefully, this conference will raise public awareness about the crowdsourcing activity and the resulting policy recommendations. Thank you very much for your attention. Now, I, I would like to give the floor to Ms. Magrožata Novak, the fund manager of the U European Economic Area and Norway Grants Fund operator, to greet us with her opening remarks. Hello, Magrožata. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Simon. Good morning, everyone. My name is Magrožata Novak, and I'm the fund manager of the EEA and Norway Grants Regional Funds. I am very excited and honored to be able to welcome the speakers and participants of this conference in deciding on matters that affect their lives. Of course, the topic selected by Code Europe project for the pilot is very close to home. This crowdsourcing experiment with the topic of air quality is such a timely initiative. But with the experiment being successful, the future applications are possibly limitless especially with the use of top-notch digital tools. As the full representative, I am not allowed to have favorite projects, but I am very happy that Code Europe was awarded with funding from the EEA and Norway grants. The initiative embodies the idea behind the grants, and I am following the project developments very carefully. I am also cheering for your success and for the sustainable possible solution that can come, uh, come up from this project. Without further ado, I wish you fruitful and inspiring exchanges today and successful project implementation onwards. Thank you very much.